Have you heard the story of Hernan Cortes and the 600 men who sailed to Veracruz, Mexico in 1519? Now in my mind, I picture pirates of Caribbean scenario with Johnny Depp playing the role of Cortes. They had long weary travel and the men were tired and wanted to turn back and go home. But as soon as these guys landed on the shores of Mexico, Cortes gave a strange command. Burn your ships, he told his men. If we return home, we return in the ships of our enemies. This sent a clear message to his men. There is no turning back. As legend has it, the men had no option but to fight to win. Their retreat was cut off and they pressed on to win the battle and conquer the Aztec Empire. And what does this bit of trivia have to do with today's episode? Well, in this episode, we talk about what it takes to light the fire under your own bottom and make success your only option. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on! Have you noticed that when we think of a goal, we first think of all the reasons why it cannot happen. We have been trained to think of a plan A and then the so-called plan B so that you are ready to fall back onto if you don't reach your goal. If you do a cortez on this, you will be setting yourself up for success. By focusing your mind on one thing and only one thing, you are left with no other option but to give it everything you have got. This principle was brought home to me beautifully during my trip to Pangong Lake at Ladakh. We took a faster road to reach the lake, but man, what a road it was, unformed, rough, at points, there was no road. It was a barren stretch through dried riverbeds. No phone signals, no other vehicle or people in sight. And because it was a narrow road, we had no option but to forge ahead, heart in our mouths, fingers crossed and a prayer to the universe to see us through. It taught me that sometimes there comes a time in our lives when we have no option but to jump off that cliff that we are standing on. We all cling to something that acts as a safety net just in case, our exit strategy, just in case we get too scared, just in case the heat becomes a little too much. We postpone action until we no longer feel the fear. We hide behind phrases like it doesn't make sense. It would have made sense for Cortes to keep a ship or two if not his entire fleet. But Cortes was on a mission and he knew that the only way to keep himself or his people from quitting was to take that option off the table. Retreat is easy when you have the option. Think about it. Let this sit in your head. Or like my favorite client says, it's doing something in my head. The question we have to ask ourselves is this. What ships do I need to burn in my life? That business you've been trying to set up on the side? Focus 100% on it. Throw yourself right into the deep end and make it work. If you know that you've got a comfortable job that's paying the bills, you will not give it your all. And I say this from experience. That dead relationship you want to get out of but have million excuses? For most part, this is fear. Being afraid of being alone, being afraid of failing as a lover or a friend, being afraid of losing the comfort that the person provides or losing the comfort of knowing what to expect from that person, even though it's not always good. Is your ship an unrealistic dream? Sometimes this is the toughest one to spot. See, when you watch TV shows like American Idol, you see people who are willing to put it all online in front of a national audience for their dreams. But you will also see people who don't recognize that they have no skills. Instead of dreams, they have fantasies. And that is a sad state for anyone to live in. To accomplish your goals or shape your life, one of the biggest problems that you need to solve is getting yourself to do the work. The most successful athletes, entrepreneurs, writers, programmers, salespeople, they have it all figured out and they just pound out what they need to do. But many others, they put off their dreams because either fear, lack of motivation or both get in the way. Which is why I ask you again, what ships do you have to burn? And to help you along, here's a rather drastic tool from my toolbox. Well, the clue to this one is in its name. It's called Ditch Plan B. 
So here's what you do. Take out two pieces of paper on one sheet titled Plan A and write down the one dream or one goal that you have, the one that you have not started working on and list all the steps, action plans that you can take. Also put down that one clear, easy action that you can take in the next 24 hours. Make the action step specific and clear. Instead of saying, start looking for a job, write down, call up the headhunter. Now, the next sheet of paper, title it Plan B. Write down all the options you have instead of the one you wrote earlier. For example, Plan B, stay on the current job, take the new posting even though I don't really like it, but at least I'm not desperate, my bills will be paid, whatever. Now's the fun part. Get a candle, light it and set plan B on fire. Symbolically, burn your exit strategy. Watching it burn and being left with only one course of action actually gets the mind to think of making it work. <laughs>